Hey, hey, thanks for slithering in. I am Simtherin. Welcome back to my channel or welcome in if you are new. Today we are doing another starter home, part of my starter home series that we're working through on this channel. We are already starting off hot with the shape of the build already together. I have some things already laid out because I was testing kind of a little bit before I actually hit record to make sure everything was going to work the way I was envisioning it, but we are in Moonwood Mill. We are doing a starter home for a werewolf, which is super exciting. This was suggested by Amy Cat in the comments. If you guys have a specific world that you want to see me do next, please let me know. I love taking your suggestions and running with it. We have done a few different worlds at this point. This is like the seventh starter home. So if you're curious, the playlist will be listed down below. We've done things like eco lifestyle. We've done a vampire one. We've done a build in Tartosa. Like we are having so much fun. And the best part about these starter homes is that they are also limited pack. So we are only using base game and whatever pack that the world came with. So in this case, we are only using base game and werewolves. As per usual, I was scrolling through Pinterest and found a couple of inspiration pictures. One in particular stood out to me of a watchtower that looked like someone was living in. So I had the idea that maybe a brand new werewolf stumbling through Woodwood Mill looking for a place to crash or essentially move into and they found this abandoned watchtower. So they kind of made it their own. It's kind of fenced off. So it keeps others away. They have their private space. They can come all the way up to the watchtower to sleep, eat, and be merry, I guess. <laughs> Maybe not so merry, but we'll see. It depends on your werewolf gameplay. I have actually never played with werewolves, but from what I've seen, it's such a fun pack to play with and... I mean, occults are really close and dear to my heart as well. I definitely love all of the fun occults that we have, and hopefully we're getting some more. Uh, I guess that's a good segue to my next topic, because The Sims released like a little 10 second snippet of the trailer that they're supposed to be releasing for Life and Death. I am so excited, and from that like little 10 second snippet, I was already like looking at a few different things that really caught my eye. There was a wallpaper with like ravens on it. The door looked super cool. The windows looked so like a little worn down, but also kind of like fancy. Like maybe they've been through some things, you know, and I've seen some snippets of people zooming in on the windows to kind of see the world outside and the world looks super spooky as you guys know life and death is going to be released on october 31st which here at least in the united states is halloween our favorite time of year and i really can't wait to see what else is coming with this pack let me know your predictions down in the comments below that trailer is being released on october 3rd you guys are seeing this video on october 2nd so Now's a great time to get your predictions in so that if you're right, you can come back and say, see, look, I said it, I win. Um, not that it's a contest or anything, but it's just a little fun game, you know? I don't really have too many predictions. I am one of those simmers who, and I say it all the time, I'm just happy to get some new things. I am definitely a builder and builder at heart and... As long as you give me some cool items, I'm in. But I have seen some predictions of a lot of other Simmers wishing that there's like a Grim Reaper type career, which honestly is kind of really interesting to me. I don't know if I would want that kind of power, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but honestly, it's The Sims and we live for chaos. So it sounds like it would be pretty fun anyway. Anyway, back to the build. This one was definitely way out of my comfort zone, way out in left field. I love watching Simmers kind of build builds out of like some crazy ideas and things. Like 
I saw Miss Griffey recently do a restaurant out of a train car. Like, that was super cool to see and watch. And people are so creative. So challenging myself this way was super fun. We have this debug item, which I believe is actually a base game that kind of makes the watchtower base, but the roofing part uh, on it is definitely more rounded than I would have liked, but we're just going to pretend, okay? And some of the top of it does a peek out through the bottom of the floor, but as you guys maybe know, or if you're new here, at the end of my videos, instead of doing just screenshots or a video tour, I do play test. Until recently, I was notorious for not playtesting my builds. And for a long time, that was partially because I didn't have the time to do so. But recently, I've been making the time to do so. And it's been kind of fun. Uh, it takes about as long as it would to film like a walkthrough tour. So I feel like I'm not really losing too much time with that. But it's been fun. And my builds recently have been pretty functional. So yay me. If you are looking to download this build or any of my other builds, my gallery ID is Simtherin, just like it is here. But now we're on to the interior, which is going to change later during the playtesting. But spoiler alert, okay? Up here, we just have your bare necessities. You have a kitchen with a mini fridge and a microwave. Now, you guys are going to have to tell me if that works for a werewolf because I think they need to have meat, but I don't know if you can make meat in the microwave. But if you have Dream Home Decorator, you can probably just stick a stove inside that cabinet and it should work. Or you can swap out the sink or, I mean, you can probably put it where, no, you can't put it where the, where the mirror is, never mind. You can probably just extend it if you need, like, a couple extra tiles, you know, but, um, you might be wondering where the bathroom is. Now, <laughs> that's a fun story. You're going to see when we get into landscaping, but we do get the bush that actually came with werewolves where your werewolf can do their business. If you know what I'm talking about in a couple of different ways, I guess. And there is a shower hidden somewhere that does become functional. You're just going to have to wait and see for that. But right now, we are adding some decor to the walls. We've got this graffiti piece. I thought that was so cool. We've got some torn pieces, some scratches, because obviously your werewolf is going to be in a fit of rage at some point and they're going to destroy something. Now, you can probably make a basement in here if you want your werewolf to have a place to kind of hide out a little bit. I totally understand that. Um, I just didn't do it because I wanted this to be obviously a starter home, even though I probably could have done it because when I finished this, let me tell you guys how much this build came out in price. It is the cheapest starter home I have ever built. It came in at a whopping 8,025 simoleons. That is it. So that's going to leave you with like, what is that? 12-ish thousand simoleons to play with. So if you need to make this bigger, add a basement, add some more things for your werewolf that you want to play with, please be my guest. Do it. Um, like I said, I don't play with werewolves, so maybe there's some things I'm missing. And if there is, please let me know because... The more knowledge I have, the better I can do in my next werewolf starter home, whenever that will be. I'm sure we'll do another one at some point. Not this year, but spooky season comes around every year, okay? So, never say never. Speaking of which, happy October, guys. It is finally here. I, I really do enjoy October and fall, which is kind of a funny story because the other day, my boyfriend and I were out in the yard we were playing with the dog and then he started raking and all of a sudden had like a huge pile of leaves. And I was like, wait a minute, when did that happen? Literally last week we were in like upper eighties, almost 90 degrees Fahrenheit, which is crazy. And then it was like overnight, it just turned fall and the leaves started falling and oh, I love it so much. The leaves are still kind of green, but they're getting there. 
Uh, I love the changing of the seasons, but the interior is all set here. Here is when I decided I can squeeze a shower in these debug lockers. Yes, and yes, it is functional, but you guys are going to have to wait for the play testing to see how it is functional. Hehe. <laughs> But down here, like I said, we have that bush for your sims to do their business. We have this awesome little fire pit thing that comes with werewolf. We get the rundown couch out here and a bunch of debug landscaping because I live, 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 live for debug landscaping. Here I was trying to like size up the shower to kind of make it look a little more blend blended in. Um, you can kind of definitely tell that there's a shower in there, but... I think that's fine. Honestly, you you really have to be looking at it to figure it out. What else do I get here? I get a bunch of different debug fencing going around. It's technically all fenced off, but because they are debug, your sims can walk right through the fence, so don't worry about it. I did have an issue with the welcome wagon, but I think I also saw someone else having issues with the welcome wagon. I think it's a glitch, which speaking of, is anyone else having a glitch where they are trying to travel to another lot, the loading screen happens, right? And then your computer crashes? Well, not the computer, the game. Let me scratch that, the game. So if you guys watched my last video, you may have seen that every time I entered Create a Sim and then came out of Create a Sim, my game crashed. That's pretty much also happening when I try to travel in the game. I actually just did week one and two of the Reaper's Rewards gameplay just to, you know, really quick get those rewards in. And I tried to send my sim to Henford on Bagley to try and find some cherry seeds because you have to plant a cherry tree. And it crashed twice. I tried it twice. Even it was with mods and without mods and after the recent patch update. So... Just a little curious if you guys are seeing the same things or if it's just my poor little computer, my poor little game. Um, I know my my PC, my fan likes to get a little loud. I have to go in there and try and clean out some of the dust to see if that helps, but I'm due for an upgrade, hopefully soon. I tried to rotate these broken down car pieces because I thought it'd be cool if it's just hanging from that little hook. But some items don't rotate the way you want them to, unfortunately, even with the help of the tool mod. So, oh well. <laughs> yeah, but the rest of this is really just us landscaping. At some point, I'm going to pull out that couch. Um, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's pretty much it. I'm not quite else sure what to tell you guys, except that I am overwhelmed by all of the love I've been getting recently on this channel. I feel like it was just a few days ago where I posted a community tab post about thanking you guys for hitting 2,500 subscribers. But since then, we have already surpassed 2,600. And I'm like, what just happened? Also, we did like a little different kind of speed build, but it was in Tiny Glade, that new super cozy game. And I wasn't expecting it to get as many views as it actually did. So I'm actually really excited for that because then maybe I can bring it back a little more often than I was thinking. It's not going to be a weekly thing. Maybe in every other week, once or twice a month kind of situation. Let me know what you guys think of that as well if you enjoyed it. Um, we're going to play around with that because... I'm so addicted to that game. It is so pretty. But we're not here for that. We're here for The Sims. Yeah. We are just getting some more clutter. Whatever trash and trees I can get. But this is pretty much the build. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else like this as far as builds go. Like, shoot around some ideas. Tell me what kind of weird, quirky builds you want to see. And I'm willing to give it a go. I almost bulldozed this a few times, but I was like, trust the process, Simdurin, okay? You can't always bulldoze things. And I'm trying to get out of that. It's really hard. It's a bad habit I have. I just like things to be as perfect as possible. Maybe I'm a tad bit perfectionist. I don't know. So It depends on what I'm working on. But 
after this terrain paint, we are actually going to jump over to live mode or live mode. I feel like I say it different every single time, but yeah, we're going to go do that. We are going to use, I think Johnny Test to play test this time. I know I didn't use my Sim, who I also called Sim with a Y. It's kind of funny, but I'm going to see you guys over there in just a little bit. Make sure you guys comment all the things down below, but I mean... Don't go anywhere because we're going to go do some playtesting right about now. While we don't have too much to playtest, this is definitely going to be an interesting one here. So we have Johnny Zest over here kind of testing out the sofas or doing push-ups and things. So yeah, sure. You can like fitness. Cool. But first and foremost, I think it is most important that we... Make sure we can kind of come up here. So maybe the test is sitting on this tire stool. He's climbing up the ladder now, which is a very good sign. And then I'm very curious to see if this platform here is going to give us any trouble. Um, I just realized I put another punching bag down here. So that's great. We can get rid of one if we need it. Or if you guys need it. If this is all going to work out pretty well. We'll see. So he can't sit on the tire. Can you sit on your bed? No. Okay, so as of now, nothing is really functional. This was pretty much what I was scared of. So we're going to see if I can make at least this seat functional and then we kind of go from there. You cannot sit. Can you walk here? You can walk there. Then can you sit? Let's try something else. Let's see if we get this platform down. See, the issue with that is this guy, but maybe we can just move it up and kind of be done with that there. And then, well, okay. We're going to see. Can you at least go in? Is it the curtain? I don't, I didn't think curtains or it could be, you know what? It could be the extra punching bag, guys. Hold on. Did I just big brain? Oh, I big brained. So the, I know the top of this item kind of sticks in, but sometimes if you zoom out well enough, well, I guess not, but we're just going to ignore that. So he's going ahead and he's testing the sink, getting some water, which is great to see. Can we relax? We can relax, which means I'm pretty sure we can go ahead and sleep. Then this kitchen isn't very fancy but we're going to have a microwaved quick meal let's do a microwave pastry maybe like a pop tart or a toaster strudel are you team pop tart or team toaster strudel i really need to know that that looks like it's working i'm curious to see if the welcome wagon is actually going to come here i don't think we quick meals have anything to chop but can we cook anything we can do a fruit salad so maybe we should actually test that as well I guess the only downside of being so high up is like the camera movements. Now the welcome wagon, very curious about this and if they're going to try and come up here. I don't even know where they're at. Okay, Johnny, can you use this counter to chop up? Perfect. All it was was the platform issue. There's nothing blocking this mirror, but we're going to like try and freshen up maybe. Yeah, we don't, you don't have to keep hurting yourself, Johnny. We're good. That's good. And can we try on some outfits? I'm still scared of going into create a sim because of all the crashing from the last time we play tested a build. That was not fun at all. Johnny, we get it. Go on. This is actually a lot easier than I thought. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised so that everything up here is working pretty well. Now there's a few things on the ground here that I want to make sure we can test out. This here might be our welcome wagon. No wonder an elder and she's moving so slow to get up here. We're going to see if she can actually come up here or what the deal is. We technically don't have a door. We have an archway. Or is she just going to stand there? If she's just standing there, I'm going to end that. We have our potty bush back here that I wanted to make sure works. No, don't go upstairs right now. It looks like 
We're good. A lot of this stuff down here is debug, so... Okay, it looks a little weird. I don't know why oh, he's all the way there. Maybe we have to rotate it a little bit. Let's see if we do it that way. And try and fertilize again. Are you going to go around or are you just going to stand there? Okay. Well, I guess that rock gives him some privacy, so I'm not mad at it. Can we punch the punching bag? No, we cannot. But can you get your mail? Also not. Good to know. Let's, let's figure it out, shall we? If we move the punching bag maybe a little out more. And the mailbox a little out more. Out in the open. No, you still cannot. Can you still get your mail? I don't know if it's that debug item. Usually debug items don't have like a footprint. Energized practice. Still nothing. Do I have to just put it over here? Will that work? I wonder if it's this piece. But I feel like if it was that grassy piece, we wouldn't be able to get up there. Okay, it's going to work there. So I just need to figure out where to put the mailbox. There's something over here that has a footprint. I wonder if it's this guy. It might be this guy. So what if we kind of put our gnome over here and our mailbox here and see if that works instead. I still haven't done the Grim playthrough yet, so that's kind of crazy. He keeps asking me to. I need to do it. What if we move it further? There we go. Okay, we found a good place for it. And I'm pretty sure this is going to work. These, the sofa and this bench here work. We're going to make sure this lights. Agnes Crumplebottom. That is weird. Oh my god, did he just set himself on fire? Alright, you can extinguish. We're good there. Now, I did shove a shower into this little porta potty. Darn, I really was hoping that was going to work. So what we can do, and I don't use this trick often enough, we can actually build a basement, right? We are going to build a basement right here. Boom. We are going to page down. Got to page down a couple times. And we're going to do this, but we're going to remove the room. Oh, just kidding. We're going to remove the room, and then we're going to kind of bring it up here. I think I can just go here and then use the tool mod to kind of play with this instead of going down to the basement a bunch of times. So let's elevate it by one, maybe another 0.5 to too low, 0.2. I think that looks good. Let me bring it out a little bit. But then at this point, we'll close that. And maybe we can shove the shower in here and maybe that should work because technically now this decor item is in the basement. We figured it out. We are so smart. You guys are so smart. I actually really had a lot of fun with this one. I know it was like pretty quick and simple, but it is a starter home and Johnny has like plenty of simoleons left. So it's kind of really cool that it's so run down and... You could probably extend this if you want, or now that we do have a basement, you can probably put stairs down here and probably do like a whole basement network kind of situation. That might be fun. Anyway, that's enough rambling from me today. Thank you guys for watching this video. I had so much fun. I hope you did as well. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you're Team Pop-Tart or Team Toaster Strudel down in the comments below. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!